Hey, what's up, everybody? JJ Starwin is here, and welcome to another Starwin Corner episode, episode 89. Forget the background noise, I'm actually outdoors doing a long bike ride. But we're going to do this episode here because this is going to be a little bit of a question or a series of questions for a tsunami for uh, collaborating with the people that made this recent anime that they brought out, I guess, in pre-celebration of Halloween, since Halloween is just a few weeks away for 2024 in October. Uh, the show in question is Uzumaki. Now, apparently, this was a smashing hit in Japan for its uh, strange and eloquent story writing when it came to spirals. Yeah, that's right, spirals. Who would have thought spirals would be so horrifying and scary? So, it was led to believe that this anime was going to, like, have high acclaim, I guess. Just like the manga. It was going to be well, well, well liked by the audience. But I'm here to tell you, I, I don't think that worked. At least not for me. And even a few others that watched it alongside me and a few others. Uh, we got some questions here. <laughs> like... First of all, with this plot, what exactly was the whole main idea of this whole tale, okay? Now, is it something that's very symbolic in Japan culture, spirals? Because that's something that us Westerners need to understand. So if anybody that actually did read the manga, because, you know, that was a while back, and I didn't, I didn't know anything about this particular manga series until uh, one of my subs told me about it. It's like, hey, let's watch this. It might be pretty good. It's like, oh, okay, I'll watch it. And then I'm watching it first episode okay it wasn't too bad but then it just got really weird by episode two and by episode four it's like what what am i watching i don't get it <laughs> i don't get it at all <laughs> and it's some it was some of the weirdest stuff too man like people turn into snails and then the people get hungry enough to eat the snails then women are getting pregnant giving birth to these spiral snail-like creatures or whatever and then the people themselves are turning in spirals you got dudes projecting themselves into tornadoes and flying tornadoes like stuff like that and then they're going into the kids are going into lighthouses for no reason just for being silly kids and then they almost get roasted because the the lighthouse has a beam that's so powerful that it sparks fire inside the lighthouse and it was like hot enough for you to burn alive in there because they saw dead bodies going up the stairs it's stuff like that that just had me like really, I'm like really. <laughs> I was more weirded out, creeped out than anything. Instead of being like frightened, because it was just so, it was just out there. Some of the stuff that you saw was really out there in this show. And then of course, um, some people on X they were criticizing the animation because while episode one had some good animation, despite you know the whole entire series being black and white. Uh, by episodes two and three, the, the quality dipped down big time. It really did. Now, the fourth episode, it actually looked better. It looked more like episode one. It did. But episodes two and three was like, what was... <laughs> I mean, you saw people running too slow. And you saw these uh, unfinished lines that, were, that should have been erased, but they were still there. You know? And, um, oh, the funniest one to me was when uh, old boy... It was like a, they had like an argument and he punched the guy and it didn't look like a punch. When he hit dude, it looked telegraphed. Like the dude flinched before the dude hit him. It didn't even look like a real punch. It almost like something out of a movie. <laughs> that was the weirdest thing. I'm like, really? Did they draw a punch like that? The dude react to the punch like that? He didn't really get socked like that? So it's, it's little stuff like that that just made me wonder, like, how serious were they when they made this four episode series? And apparently, I forget the name of the studio that did this. It took them five years to create this. And it was only four episodes. Just five years. Wow. This leads me to believe that Toonami probably should no longer be sponsoring uh, anime studios here in America to do their shows. If they're trying to have exclusive animes. Because this isn't the first time they made an anime that should have been really good, but it wasn't good. 
Now, I'll give him credit for coming out with Ninja Kamui. When Ninja Kamui came out, it started off pretty nice. But then I got a little bit more critical as the, the show went on because of them introducing mech suits. But I think that's more of a writer production type of idea than Tsunami itself as a network. But I think the story, that particular anime could have been a lot better than what it was, in my opinion. Even though the story was very good. Now, the other anime that came out that was supposed to be haunted or supposed to be real scary was, uh, what was the name? Housing Complex C. When that came out last year, if I'm not mistaken, that story didn't make any damn sense. <laughs> it didn't make any sense at all. Now, I think I made a review about it earlier. I got to go back and look. But to me, that story didn't make a whole lot of sense. So, like, the whole time in that show, the one of the characters was, like, basically watching over his citizens and, and killing them off one by one until it was, like, I think the girl said, like, oh, I need it for sacrifices or something crazy like that just to stay alive. <laughs> like, it, okay, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, if Toonami decides to keep doing this every October, that they're going to put out all these scary animes you know, in celebration of Halloween, like, they're going to have to do a whole lot better than what they're showing us. As, as a Western audience, they're going to have to do a whole lot better than this, because this ain't it. <laughs> Housing Complex C and Uzumaki is not it right now. It's just it. Now, if somebody understands the plot, if they understood exactly what was going on, you might as well explain it to me and others that are watching or hearing this audio recording slash video. Okay. For this particular episode, yeah, just you ain't got to write down a whole essay, but just break it down what the last episode was about or even the first episode. So we'll know what happened. At least at least I kind of knew when, what happened when the town basically sealed itself because they pretty much were successful in trapping all of the citizens there. And they were all trying to leave. But that's why I was like, nah, you ain't leaving. I need you as su uh, sustenance. I need you as 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 my way of sealing myself again until. I guess more people come in and they rebuild the town and then I guess the process starts all over again. That's the that's the gist I got. That's how confused I was. I, I had to come to that brief conclusion about that show. It was just weird like that. <laughs> okay. But yeah, do explain exactly what the heck we were watching throughout this whole entire month of October with Uzumaki. Okay, I will respect your opinion. <laughs> Even if it's a whack one, but I respect it. Because I did see on X last night that some people were saying, Oh man, this show was a 7 out of 10. This show was an 8 out of 10. I'm like, y'all tripping. <laughs> 8 out of 10? This? Shoot, at best this was like a 4 out of 10. <laughs> okay. I think your ratings in anime are kind of piss poor if you ask me. If you think that was an 8 or a 9. Because it surely was not. <laughs> but be as it may. Do let me know what you guys think in the comments. And, uh, oh, there was one other review that said that this show was like watching Ben Simmons play basketball. I was like, damn. So this was the Ben Simmons anime. <laughs> For those that don't know Ben Simmons, that's an NBA player. And you'll, you'll understand why they made that comparison. If you, watch, if you ever watch Ben Simmons play and understand his career, you'll, you'll know why. But that's it from here. I dragged this long enough. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'm out.